Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, your general army guy, and this is Supreme Commander... Uh, no. Is that right? Supreme Ruler? I feel bad that I can't remember the name of this game, and I never look it up before I start, and I can't really alt-tab out. I believe it's Supreme Ruler, uh, but you know what? The description has the title of the game. You can look in there and see it for yourself. It's... November 20 of 1914, World War I is going on, but we're not really involved because we are staying neutral. We're going to try to boost our economy. This is just a good way for me to kind of get the feel on how to play this game. And then uh, as time goes on, um, maybe we can get involved in a war. Maybe, you know, but either way, you got to learn how to play the game some way, right? And a good way to learn how to play a game by not really getting too heavily involved. Like, you don't want to jump right in as Germany or France or something and then get your butt kicked because you don't know what you're doing. So, uh, you know, we, I, I'm smart enough to have one guy down here by Gibraltar kind of keep an eye on those Brits. Sure, we think they're our friends right now, but are they? I mean, yeah, they pretty much are, but still, are they? I mean, yes, I just said that they were, but are they? So, for some reason, we're building some ships... I must have started, oh, that's the reason, is because I instructed my people to do that. Uh, we have quite a few ships in reserve. Why are they in reserve? What are they? Cruisers, pre-century cruisers. So that must be from like 19 whatever. Boy, they're very expensive too. Eight million dollar maintenance for these reserve units. Can I like, Scrap them? Uh, like, these ships are crazy expensive. I don't need you. Okay, I'm going to deploy you. Now, where did I deploy you at, Mr. Ship? No. Nope. Where are you at? Oh, wait, shit. Planes. What are you planes doing? Yeah, go back. No, no, no. Just, just go back. How do I instruct you to just go back? Dang it. Um, reserve. You back to reserve. You're probably really expensive too. Now that now that I think about it, what do you cost in maintenance? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, that I can afford. All right. So there's my ship. This ship. Are you are you really costing me eight million dollars a month for this one ship? Or $8 million. I don't even know what the time frame is on that thing. How do I get the stats on this one ship? Alright. Cancelled. No, no, no. That probably cost me $7 million just to have you sail over there. Come back here. I said, come back. Don't make me hit you. Come on. There we go. Um, now, okay. This ship. If I highlight here. Any moment now. There we are. Maintenance. $9.15 million. That must be like the lifetime maintenance or something. Send for repairs. Is there no way to just... Scrap unit. There you go. Boom. Do it. Give order. Yes. So... So this, another pre-century cruiser that's costing me $8 million a year. Well, these ships, do I really, do I really need them? Well, that's a lot more reasonable, $1.7 million a year. Like, I suppose destroying my navy might not be the best strategy. Although they're, it's not like they're very good ships. They all look pretty terrible. Um, but yeah, I might not want to actually go through and destroy them all. These guys cost $100,000 a year. What do my planes cost? $170,000. That's right, we already looked at that, didn't we? Um, so if I go to construction of ships and we go to Navy. Now they take a long time. But these new ships, $40 million in maintenance. Holy moly alright well how about I stop scrapping 8 million dollar ships because those things are still a bargain 
we will wait until we get a few more ships in but boy those are expensive all right I mean that's probably very realistic the the game does seem to be trying to adopt a style of realism are those are those those planes that I told to uh, go into reserve what's going on there where are you guys going infantry units what are you doing weirdos didn't give any instructions. I must have been like something where I accidentally, where I misclicked or something. You know what? Go up here, fellas. Keep an eye on Andorra. Those, uh, oh, I do that every time. Those guys are real punks up there in Andorra. We can't trust them. Probably some Andalusians around here as well that are going to try to cause us some problems. Now, in the comments, somebody suggested, I know they were just joking around, but somebody suggested that I should go to war with Portugal. I am assuming, oh, really? I thought we, uh, I thought we would have a um, a uh, treaty with Portugal, you know what I mean? Like a, a alliance or something. Alright, I know we have shortages. Military goods shortage. Got it. Labor shortage. Really? Wow, our unemployment has dropped considerably. Probably because we built all those factories. Huh. Alright. Well... That's not good. So we need more people. Portugal. I sure would like to be able to find out what what is our relationship with Portugal? Existing agreements, embassy. That's it. Now I would like to find out. Uh, so Portugal has a 25% war justification towards Spain. Spain has zero war justification towards Portugal. So we have no causes belle, causes belle. Anyways, it would be very difficult for us to declare war on them, just like for fun. Um, so I guess we can't really do that. Oh, we could set up a criminal extradition treaty. Uh, do we get any? tips on whether they would accept that or not offer appears unacceptable hmm. okay I wonder why that is how about an alliance offer appears unacceptable how about I throw in criminal extradition treaty oh, okay well that didn't really change anything did it free flow of labor force get rid of the alliance all right, how about we just allow labor to move back and forth? Oh, I see. No, nope, still don't like that. How about I just like, oh, you, you won't allow me to offer a unilateral. Okay, how about we do this? Non-aggression pact. Really, you won't even accept that. And uh, there's no way to automatically, like, I can't have my advisor help me understand what would make this uh, more uh, acceptable. I probably, if I threw in some resources or something. I do have a lot of, uh, there we go. No. Still not acceptable. Hmm. All right. Well, I was just goofing around anyways. Take that, Lisboa. Be such jerks about it. I didn't want to be your friend. If you want to hear the truth. Friends with myself. Thank you very much. I don't need friends. Alright. Um, what is our... We are still producing additional military units. I don't know where those ones came from, to be honest. How did they all just appear there? Um, our uh, finances are doing fine. They're trending downward. Now, if I were to go to our domestic... So, that's probably under state. Treaty integrity, domestic approval rating. Oh, so low. Why is my domestic approval rating so low? I'm spending a ton of money on, uh, on, like, great domestic stuff. Oh, hey, look at that. Enemies, colonies, show colonies. Well, I don't need to see that. All right, well, that doesn't really help. Does it help if I do that? If I click on Portugal. And then I 
see their relations. They have no allies or enemies. They have a number of uh, colonies. All right, well, that's kind of handy. So you can see that France has a lot of good allies. They're all Britain, basically. Really? Is that it? Just Britain? Oh, and Russia. And uh, plenty of enemies. There you go. Austria, Germany, Ottomans. Oh, the Ottomans got sucked in on this thing too, huh? Poor guys. Now, why do these have little dollar signs on them? Construction complete. Like, shouldn't the dollar sign disappear? Or are they still working on... Still working on part of it? No, it looks like it's all completed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Do not know. Alright, we're back on Spain. Fund insurgency? I don't want to do that. Oh, that's right. We built the espionage thingy, huh? Intelligence. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Wait. Okay. Um, influence? No, I just want intelligence. Yes. Click. Alright. I've given you a priority, my friend. Target espionage opportunities. Delicinate low-risk missions. What's this? Rename our region? No, I don't need to do that. Um, espionage. Current missions? None. Well, I have no missions available. And what does that mean? No spies or spy academies. So would I need to build one? Wait, didn't I build a security bureau already? I guess I would need an intelligence academy to do that. I don't know that I want to do that. That's very expensive. Economy, labor shortage. 2.7 unemployment rate. Yikes. Research complete. Military facility complete. Military goods shortage. Got it. Well, keep buying those military goods, my friends. And I will keep just like chilling, I suppose. Um, if we look at our economy and we look at now military goods, that's the thing that we should have too much of. Yeah, look at that. We're producing 196. We're only using 51. Why would that be short? Consumer goods shortage would make sense. Even though we're pretty good on consumer goods. Industrial goods shortage, I would definitely... I'm not surprised we don't have more of that. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have the population to keep uh, boosting our industrial base. Which was kind of my whole plan for this game. Oh, do we have objectives? Nope, no objectives. I object to not having more population. So take that. Oh, that centers us. That doesn't do anything. What does this do? Alert message. Nothing. It's just a little icon. It shows me what that box stands for. Now, Mr. Locked from product controls. Uh-huh. Hmm. I'm not sure how to, how would I adjust those? Consumer goods and industry output. Yep, 100% of capacity. That's fine. Aha! Domestic price. There we go. So here I can see the price of our consumer goods. Well, I'm going to lower the price on our consumer goods. So they cost us 5014 to manufacture. And I've already lost the... There we go. Hey, wait a minute. I lowered the price. 5029 That's perfectly fine. Hey, stop raising the price! Oh, there we go. The minister. So I'd have to lock this off. And then I could adjust the prices myself. Okay, minister. Whatever. Why are these guys upset? Probably supply region reasons or something? They're not upset anymore. So, oh wait. They started to be upset again. Make up your minds, you guys. Are you upset or not? How about I spread you out a little bit? You're going to be complaining so much. Go stand over there in the corner. Oh, looks like the clouds are rolling in. 
A little bit of rain, like a comet, a giant comet is flying across the, uh, uh, is this Europa Universalis 4 release? Giant comets everywhere. Thank you. Good night, everybody. That's it for me. A little Seinfeld reference there, sort of. George Costanza. Leaving on a high note. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen it, you probably don't. So I'll stop there. What's this little blue uh, country here? Is that Belgium? Trying to come back? A partisan unit loyal to Belgium. Hey, just like I said. It's common sense actually worked out for once. Oh, you know, I didn't know that the, there was little islands. Is that the Isle of Man? Gabernski? Jersey. Huh. Not Gabernski. Gern Guernsey. Guernsey and Jersey. And uh, where's the Isle of Man? Is that the Isle of Man? Douglas. Well, that's my dad's name. That could be the Isle of Man. Of course, so could any of these little islands up there, too. What's that? Oh, that's just like a neutral zone, that's all. Any of these could be the Isle of Man, now that you mention it. Lerwick. Hmm. Is that... No. That's like uh, Iceland or something, right? Danish. That's right. This is time for geography lessons for Sean. If it was EU4, I'd be a lot more familiar with what was going on. But it's not. I gotta stop gotta stop making that comparison. It is unfair to the fine folks that make this game and game series. So I was reading up and they're very good about uh, supporting these games as well. So that's good to know. If I ever uh, get the chance to spend enough time to learn how to play this game and get good at it and have fun with it and stuff. Holy crap, didn't we have $800 million just recently? Why are we losing so much money all of a sudden? Must be on uh, on all the stuff that we're having to buy. Wow. Well, it's a good thing we had built up a financial reserve. Let's see if we can maybe build that up a little more. Maybe I won't uh, won't be so freewheeling with my spending. I know earlier I was like, oh, I have eight hundred million dollars. I actually kind of considered spending five hundred million on the um, uh, intelligence agency or whatever that thing was. So glad that I didn't. That would have been not so good. Well, that kind of handcuffs me, though. If I can't spend any more money and we're not in any condition to go to war, where did these guys come from? Is that more units that I've trained up somehow? I, I guess that'll keep me a little bit busy as I can move some of these guys around. Cavalry. Nice. Cavalry is supposed to be kind of overpowered in this, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if eventually it got nerfed. Um... Not that we'll know whether it's overpowered or not, considering. But still, it's good to know. That's why I made a bunch of it. But I can't really afford to make any more. You know what I probably could afford to do would be maybe to uh, set up a railroad along my uh, along the border here. Although, is that really necessary? I can move troops pretty well along the border with this railroad. I don't know that it would really be necessary to set up a railroad directly along the border here, so never mind. I withdraw my complaint. Gibraltar's still there. Big old rock. It's not going anywhere. Valencia. I'm just reading, reading stuff off the map now. Ooh, if we get him real close, we can see all sorts of... Nope. Oh, that's because those aren't towns. What kind of details can we get from these towns? 30,000 population. Um, I guess that's about it. Filters? Ooh, fun. Oh, really? So our supply is just yellow in general, I guess? Huh. What other filters do we have? Loyalty? I don't know what's good and what's bad. Yellow doesn't seem so great. 
How about garrisons? Well, that's not much of a filter. Reset filters? Oh, wait. Map grid? Oh, I like that. Close combat. So anywhere in red would be close combat if we were to if we were to have combat. Seems reasonable. High ground. Ooh hoo hoo. That's cool. So I'd want to put like artilleries and stuff up in there. Like that artillery right there, huh? Hey you. Go there. Now you have the high ground. Aw yeah. Uh ownership. Now wait, why would there be red zones? Uh, how is there a question of ownership? I guess because it's along the border. But why would these areas... So only these green... No, no, no. That's still high ground, isn't it? Uh, Alright, reset filter. So it layers your filters when you do that. Ownership. Great sort of greenish across the board reset filters loyalty yeah still not all that great all right well that was fun our finances are still on the decline weird stuff guys but i am going to put a cut in here um, yeah, not really sure. I feel like our income is doing all right. Not really sure where we're going with this. Uh, but I guess we could find out in the next episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. Click that like button. Leave me a comment. All those things. I really appreciate you being here, sticking through till the end. I will see you again next time. Bye.